Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. Today, I have the pleasure of working on this 2011 X5M. What we're gonna be doing is installing lowering springs. They have a self-leveling suspension, so the only springs that you have to actually install if you're putting lowering springs are the two front ones, and you just have to change the two rods in the back so you can adjust the level. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off some of the stuff on the top, which will allow us to access the nuts for the strut so we could drop the whole strut assembly down and pull it off, use a spring compressor, change springs. If you need a DIY on this, on your car, uh, I've got one that goes over an E46 lowering spring install on my main channel. Just go check that out. It's very similar for any other car. So here it is. It's amazing. It looks so nice. It's really clean. The guy just bought it. Uh, they actually put a new motor in it. So it's pretty much a new car now. I mean, it's got 65,000 miles on the body itself, transmission and all that. But I'm sure they probably changed all the fluids at the dealership when they put the new engine in. But it's very clean as you can see. It's a black car. They polished the whole thing. It looks really, really nice. The interior is also black, so black on black, you can't go wrong. All right, so I went ahead and finished the springs on the passenger side as well. So both sides are done. Then we went ahead and put on the adjustment rods on the back for the self-leveling. So we adjusted those, we, we lowered it once and it was still too high. So we brought it down to the lowest setting. Put that on, we put 15 millimeter spacers in the front. Now we're putting 20, 20 millimeter spacers in the back. 
put these wheels on, then we'll take it for a test drive and see how it looks. more like two inches in the back too. All right, so the X5 is gone. I didn't have enough time to record the whole process. Main reason, I just had to get it done, but I was able to take a few pictures after the car was completed. So I'll just insert the pictures here. But now you'll get to see me work on the red convertible M3, the red on red one that you guys saw in the last vlog. Uh, main reason I didn't get to finish that last time was because it had a strip oil drain bolt and also the pinion seal for the differential was leaking. So I had to order that part as well. So let me go ahead and get that done. All right, so I'm working on this E46 M3. It's a 2006 M3, red on red, it's convertible. What we're doing is we're changing this pinion seal for the differential. We're going to obviously change the differential fluid as well while we're at it. So we're changing the pinion seal because of this leak from the differential. It's actually a very common leak. If you look it up on the forums, a lot of E46 M3s experience this. It's underneath the input shaft for the differential. So you pull off the drive shaft, then you take off the input shaft, pull that off, then you can pull the seal off and replace it. Already changed the transmission fluid last time it was on the lift, and we also need to change the oil. The Guivo actually looks fine, so we're not gonna replace that. Once I pull the drive shaft off, I'll double check the center support bearing, but this also seems fine, so we're not gonna replace that either. So now I'm just gonna pull off this drive shaft, and then we'll go from there. All right, so the drain bolt that was on the M3 on the oil pan was stripped. I was able to get it off by hammering in a bigger size socket, but I got it off. We got a new replacement from the dealer. So here's a new bolt, but on the old bolt, this is the washer that they had used as the crush washer, which is wrong. So whenever you get an oil filter kit, it usually comes with two washers, a copper one and the silver one, only for the M3s. This one goes with the oil filter housing. There's a bolt that is used on the M3s and the copper one goes on the drain plug because it actually crushes. This one doesn't crush that much. So this one goes for the oil filter housing and the copper one goes for the drain bolt. Remember that. Here's that metal washer I was talking about. Bam. All right, like a boss.
Open them up with this and then bring me one at a time. Come on. All right, so here's the pinion input shaft, whatever you want to call it. And this is a seal right here. You can see it's leaking out from right on the bottom. All right, so I was able to finish the pinion seal on the M3. Didn't really record as much as I wanted to, but it was getting really late. Had to get the car done for the customer. So we finished that up. Also did the oil change, put the exhaust, all that stuff back on. And the car's running great now. We're gonna monitor the leak, see if it comes back. It shouldn't, but if it does, then we'll go from there. But besides that, that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching, and let me know if you guys like me just recording here snippets of me working on customer cars, even though they're not fully detailed. Just let me know if you guys do, then I'll, I'll try to do that more often. Right now, I try not to vlog as much if I'm not gonna be able to do the whole process, just so it's not choppy for you guys. But let me know. So that's it for this video, and thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my main channel at Shop Life TV and Selena's main channel at BMW Selena for her LS swap.